I, but it, it, it really is great to be surrounded by so many family and friends here, uh, especially since so many of you are on the maybe list. <laughs> that includes you, Grandma. You're in the last cut. Was, you are Joe's fourth grade teacher. So we'll see how your present goes. It was, it was really cute to sit next to her during the wedding when Christina took like a second longer and Grandma turned to me and said, maybe she changed her mind. <laughs> she was not joking. <laughs> Just went for it. A cute lady. And then, and then we asked her if she cried, and she said, I've seen a lot of people die, so this isn't really that big of a deal. So keep that in mind. When you're, when you're getting married, uh, it, it, it's really rare uh, for a best man to be involved in how a couple got together, um, but I was able to do that. Uh, you know, Joe and Tina met online. What you might not know is she sent me 50 messages before she met Joe. And I had to block her because so many were inappropriate cat videos. Those poor, poor cats. But I, I knew Tina was going to be a great part of this family when I saw her with my mom. Uh, my mom gives gifts for every reason possible. If you're wondering why you got a gift, it's probably close to Arbor Day. It's always a nice thought, but not one that any rational person would have. I remember the first time I saw my mom give Tina a gift, a gift that keeps giving glass Tupperware. <laughs> Tina was confused, of course, because again, it wasn't near any holiday. They had just met, and Arbor Day was four weeks off. <laughs> Tina, God bless her, acted more excited than Joe and I have acted for any gift we've ever received from my mom. But it wasn't enough for Paula Cannon. My mom thought the only reason Tina wasn't more overjoyed was because she didn't understand the technology of glass Tupperware. And so she launched into a five minute speech about how Tupperware works. <laughs> Tina, so with most Tupperware, you can't see inside of it because it's colored. Now with glass Tupperware, you don't have to open it to see what's inside. You'll be able to see through it due to the glass. Think of the time you'll save. <laughs> and then Tina was like, oh, I get it now. This is better than I thought. <laughs> and my mom said, it truly is. <laughs> and it was at that point I knew Tina could get along in our family. And then my mom said, also, if you need a new toaster, I ordered too many. Feel free to take one on your way out. And it was that point that I realized how lucky we are to have seen her. Uh, but moving on to my brother who I saw cry today for the first time, that was cool. I was very emotional. I've only seen him cry when he broke his ankle, so I guess that's what marriage is to you. A broken ankle. Adorable. Very cute. Uh, he's born to Paula Cannon and my dad, Pat Cannon, who met at a bar, because where else would you meet my dad? <laughs> 
besides maybe another bar. 